wonderful Caltech or California Institute of Technology in Pasadena uh, where they answer a lot of tough questions and uh, they don't have a music school but I'm going to talk about um, should I go should you go to music school it's a very complex question and it's everybody's going to have a different answer for this uh, but I do have some thoughts on it and I did go to music school I'm representing my butler shirt here I went for one year full disclosure I quit after a year um, because I started getting really busy and um, playing guitar and that's kind of why I was going to school so I felt like um, I was should concentrate on the plane and the, the things that were making me money so I could save up money to move to California which is what I really wanted to do um, I I kind of wanted to go to Berkeley and Boston back in 79, but I was too scared. I was too scared to, to pack up and get that far away from home. Whereas when I went to Butler, I lived at home. I was only about a 15, 20 minute drive from my, the house I grew up in. So it wasn't, it wasn't as scary. It was expensive, but it wasn't scary. Um, but the, uh, the, thing, the reason I went, was, and it was very last minute, was because I graduated early from high school, but I could not get any real work. I was having trouble finding work playing playing music. I was having trouble finding opportunities and I just felt like, oh crap, I'm going to get into a dead end situation here if I don't maybe pursue a higher degree or a higher education at degree. So this, this video is largely for those of you who are in junior high, high school, maybe just starting to enter college. Uh, obviously, if you're my age, you're probably not going to start and go to music school um, at this point. But um, the, really the bookend of this is you should always continue your education and so whether you go to college or not you should always try to learn as much as possible and be as educated in the areas where you feel like you need to know things and and uh, that may be uh, in the more the technology side of, of music that may be more in the, the theoretical music uh, maybe even in uh, the business side of music and in fact many kids that were musicians that uh, wanted to go to music school, I suggested that, that they go to business school and minor in music because um, so many mu musicians are great, but they don't know how to make money. They don't know how to market themselves. They don't know how to um, do it full time. Consequently, they end up having to get another completely unrelated music job uh, while they try to make music happen. Whereas if you get a business degree, you could potentially um, you know, learn enough about the business aspect of it to be able to market yourself and turn it into a to a money making venture and allow you to to stay at it and to stay artistic. Um, another thing that I suggest is if uh, kids are interested in being um, artists, if they want to be in bands, if they want to be artists, you know, um, then I, I actually think it's almost better to go to art school because music school tends to teach you theory, tends to teach you history, tends to teach you how to play stuff that was already done. When I went to school there wasn't really any pop music programs or there were no pop music programs. Um, there were pretty much every music school was classical music and that was about it. Maybe some jazz. Berkeley would have been the exception. Uh, USC had a studio guitar program uh, in Los Angeles and I wasn't there yet and very expensive. Um, so there wasn't much going on. So I studied classical guitar at, 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 uh, at Butler, and I found that it was a very, um, was, it was really good for me. Um, I learned a lot. I, my right hand that I use all the time now in the studio was developed. My teacher there, I got, he said I got accepted in the school on my audition based on my left hand, but my right hand almost <laughs> disqualified me. So he hammered me for a year on my right hand, getting that, uh, that technique, the classical guitar technique, down. And so I, uh, I feel like it, it was a very beneficial year. Um, my favorite classes were, um, were the, the uh, music theory classes and also the, um, uh, the uh, guitar lessons and then also the big band stuff. Uh, some of the other stuff I didn't do so well in. So I feel like music school kind of is a, a, uh, a skill type school, almost more like a, a craft or a trade school. Um, art school, they do tend to, I think you tend to be, teach you to be more creative and to kind of see things in different ways. And I think when you look at so many bands, so many great bands like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Genesis and Radiohead, so many of these uh, bands, they met, the bandmates met each other in music school. And, I mean, sorry, in art school. And uh, because they, 
a lot of them, they're British bands, and a lot of them they had to choose, you know, they had to take a test and they didn't qualify or they didn't go to trade school, they got into art school or whatever. And so it was a lot of it was just they were kind of thrown into those situations. Um, but I feel like what you learn in art school is, is definitely more conducive to becoming an artist. And that's what we call them artists. Um, and bands are definitely artists. And so, um, so I, you know, that, that's another consideration when you're considering going to, going to school. The other thing is, you know, definitely financial. Um, you got to look at the big picture and the long-term thing and, and if you watch my previous video on living small one of the things was just living below your means and if you've got a giant Student loan that you've got to pay for years and years and years. It's gonna be really tough to not have to get a regular job and so um, I, I would suggest um, One of the things is state schools have great music programs oftentimes um, and especially at the community college level, you can get you can get your start there. It's very reasonable, and then transfer into a into a major university, maybe for your uh, second half of your sophomore, your sophomore year, or your junior year. Uh, my son took some classes. My son Alex took several classes at uh, PCC and learned a lot. Really excelled. Really did a great job. I was very proud of him because I'm not particularly, I'm not really cut out for academia. I, I, I some reason it's like when someone tries to teach me something. You know my eyes just glaze over and it just goes in one ear and out the other but if I can learn it for myself through trial and error uh, particularly trial and error um, then I really learn it I mean I've learned all the complex software programs that I've learned I've learned just through experimenting and making mistakes and, and figuring out how to get things done and uh, probably why I'm not in chemistry because it's bad to use trial and error for learning chemistry um, so that being said, you could probably go to a community college, which is accredited, and then transfer into a major university. You have to be careful with non-accredited colleges, um, it, but there's a lot of lot of those kind of schools that are not cheap and they're not accredited, so you can't take that education and go somewhere else um, and continue your education. You're not going to be able to take that degree necessarily and get a university teaching job. Uh, several of my friends have graduated from USC in the music department. And they, um, uh, they went on to te teach at different community colleges and colleges and things like that and done very well. You can do quite well doing that. Um, so I, you definitely want to look at that as a consideration as you're starting to research your schools and uh, consider schooling. You know, experience is your best, is your best teacher. I find that, um, and I'm going to do another video about taking yourself to college and how to do that. Because that's kind of what I did. I've, most of everything I've learned, I've learned on my own. Um, and so it's, it's one of those things where you just get, get a, a habit of, and, a, and a kind of program yourself to be a learner and to keep looking for things to learn about. You know, I've always said that when I learn something new, it's like turning around a corner around a big building and all of a sudden you see a whole new horizon of, of opportunities and things to learn. So anytime you start some new thing, like you start to get into jazz or classical or blues or any any of the styles of music, you, something that's new for you, you, you turn the corner, you start doing some real research on it and you realize, oh my gosh, this field is huge. I've got a lot to learn. Um, and I also find that performing is a huge learning uh, motivator. Um, fear, fear is a huge motivator. I often have taken gigs that I wasn't really qualified for knowing that it would force me out of fear to work my butt off so that I wouldn't make a fool of myself. Uh, half the time I still made a fool out of myself, but it's not, it, it, what I learned in those processes um, uh, was very valuable and I'm using them all today. So um, I will talk more on this, I'm sure. There's so much to talk about on the whole the music school thing. I don't want to discourage you from going to school. The, like I said, the bookend of this is const constantly pursue your edumacation, as Homer Simpson would say. Uh, so I, I would definitely uh, get yourself in that kind of mindset where you're always going to spend your, your whole life you're going to be learning, you're going to be reading, you're going to be studying, and that's just, that's just going to be your life. Um, and that's the beauty of this business and this field is that it's constantly changing, constantly developing. It's not based on hard numbers and hard facts and things like that. It's, it's an art form and it's, it's uh, creative. and you the people that can come up with something new that hasn't been done before are the people that are really going to excel. Okay. Uh, I hope this helps. I don't know, but I, I love hanging out at Caltech anyway. So you guys gave me an excuse to do that. It's gorgeous here. 
Um, and like I said, they don't have a music school here. It's it's a it's it's a science school, like math, uh, MIT, but only on the West Coast. The weather's better. Talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.